We all know what rainbows look like, but have you ever wondered what they sound like? Here in the world of Mashi, they sound just like this. You see, what you're hearing right now is the sound of a huge mushy rainbow. We're actually inside one, alongside Mrs. Snoodle, a cute little silly snuffler who loves climbing inside mushy rainbows to explore, relax, and listen to the amazing sounds they make. Mrs. Snoodle starts at the beginning of the rainbow. Mushy rainbows often start in Make Believe Valley, just beside the huge waterfall that gushes into Lake Neon Soup, spraying a fine mist of colorful water high up into the air. Mrs. Snoodle climbs on to a big flat boulder by the edge of the waterfall and climbs inside the rainbow. Once she is inside, the sound of the waterfall fades and all she can hear are the magical sounds the rainbow makes. Today, she is plodding up inside the rainbow, which arches across the sky, up then down. Right now, she's in the middle of the rainbow, which is a mix of beautiful colors. She's gazing up into a kaleidoscopic tunnel as if she's climbing up a huge, hazy water slide. The sound is very soothing here. But if Mrs. Snoodle wanders to the left or the right, she can enter each individual band of color, and every color has its own sound. What you're hearing right now is the sound of all the colors together. But Mrs. Snoodle is veering into the red part of the rainbow. Can you hear it? This is what red sounds like. Every time she takes a step, Mrs. Snoodle's little paws sink into the soft red surface below, churning up small clouds of red rainbow vapor. These red vapor clouds drift slowly upwards and gradually disappear like fireworks fading as they fall. When Mrs. Snoodle looks down, she can see the moshy world below. It's as if she's walking on red tinted glass, only the glass feels warm and squishy. She is quite up high now. She can see Franzipan Farm and the moshy meadows that surround it. And when she looks behind a little, she can see the waterfall tumbling into Lake Neon Soup, all tinged with a lovely shade of red. It's as if she's wearing red sunglasses. Wandering higher up the arch of the rainbow, 
Mrs. Snoodle now strolls into its orange stripe. It sounds a little different to the red part. She thinks it's even more relaxing. It's like being inside a beautiful sunset. As she walks up the gentle orange slope, Mrs. Snoodle gazes outside. In the distance, she can see her good friend Fluttercup the Unicorn soaring through the sky. Unicorns love rainbows, and Fluttercup often likes to gallop along the top of rainbows on the way to her school for unicorns, which is somewhere beyond a rainbow in space. But today, Fluttercup looks as if she's too busy to play. Perhaps she has a class soon? Mrs. Snoodle waves, but Fluttercup can't see her as the rainbow is huge. So Mrs. Snoodle probably looks like a distant dot in the rainbow's orangiest part. Mrs. Snoodle is doing the doodle now. That's a little dance silly snufflers love to do when they are happy. She kicks her legs out every now and then and slowly veers into the yellow band of the rainbow. The sound changes as she's bathed in yellow light. It's like being inside a big tunnel of yellow jello. She looks around and wonders if yellow might be the happiest color of all, as it reminds her of sunshine and daffodils. She is still climbing up the arch of the rainbow. As she looks down, she notices she is now up above the snowy peak of mighty Mount Silimanjaro. The yellowy haze beneath her paws feels warm and cozy. Down below, Mrs. Snoodle can see moshlings skiing down the snowy slopes. Perhaps it's Waffles, the knickerbocker bear and his good friend Franz the Frozen Fingamajig. It's hard to tell, as they look like little dots from up here, and the yellow of the rainbow is pretty bright. Mrs. Snoodle should have brought her shades. Perhaps it's time to move into another color. She shuffles sideways now into the green part of the rainbow. Oh, this zone sounds wonderful. And best of all, Mrs. Snoodle is now walking along inside the top part of the rainbow at its highest point. So she is no longer walking upwards. This is the top of the arch. The green color surrounding her is beautiful. It feels like she's inside a huge blade of mossy grass. And as the sunlight shines through the rainbow, she sees lots of different shades of green shimmering around her. Dark greens, mint greens, emerald greens. The colors swirl around as she walks. Rainbow mist is wonderful. Mrs. Snoodle can even bounce and boing inside the green part of the rainbow. 
when she does, she can touch the top of the green stripe with her little nose. It feels cold, and every time her nose touches it, wisps of green vapor waft from the top of the rainbow. Passing birds must be wondering what's going on in there as they fly over it. As Mrs. Snoodle carries on walking, she notices she is feeling a little tired. Well, this is a very big rainbow. Thankfully, as she walks, she can now feel the rainbow gradually curving downwards. She moves sideways once more and enters the blue part of the rainbow. Can you hear that blue sound? It's very soothing. Mrs. Snoodle looks outside and notices that the sun is setting. This blue zone of the rainbow is super calm. It's like walking through a huge blue pipe made from pure sky. And because she is walking down the arc of the rainbow, it feels even more relaxing. Mrs. Snoodle starts to wonder what's at the end of this rainbow. Maybe there's a pot of gold or a unicorn school. Or maybe Mrs. Snoodle is dreaming and this rainbow never ends. As Mrs. Snoodle looks up above, she can just about make out the outline of the moon now as it starts to appear in the darkening sky. It's tinged in blue, thanks to Mrs. Snoodle's view from inside the rainbow. Perhaps Moshlings up in space can see the rainbow as they look down, Mrs. Snoodle thinks to herself. The downward part of the rainbow is getting quite steep now, so she sidesteps into one of her favorite colors, indigo. This is a very cool color to walk through, and it sounds very sleepy and very soothing. The indigo zone is kind of like a cross between blue and violet. And now that the moon above has started to shine, it makes Mrs. Snoodle feel as if she's wandering through the deepest part of a beautiful tropical lagoon in the sky. In fact, when they are tinged with this color, the little trees she can see below look like bits of coral swaying to and fro, to and fro, to and fro. And the stars that are twinkling above the rainbow look like little blue glowfish. Mrs. Snoodle's rainbow walk is nearly over, but she still needs to see and hear the final color. So, as she continues walking down, she wanders into the violet part of the rainbow. What a sound Violet makes. Mrs. Snoodle thinks she might be dreaming. Either way, this color is amazing. A purpley, pinky, bluey mix. The rainbow's curve is getting pretty steep now. So Mrs. Snoodle sits down 
and begins to slowly slide along the last part of the rainbow, along the dreamy violet stripe. Try to picture yourself sliding slowly down inside the mushy rainbow's violet stripe. Wisps of brightly colored vapor whoosh off the rainbow like splashes of water as you whoosh along. The end of the rainbow is close by now, so Mrs. Snoodle slides towards the middle part of the rainbow where all the colors and sounds mix together. Even though she loves all the colors and sounds on their own, she thinks this kaleidoscopic mix of everything is her favorite. Why, it's enough to send her to sleep so Mrs. Snoodle closes her eyes and begins to doze, still sliding slowly along the rainbow's gentle curve as she listens to the wondrous sounds around her. And so can you, and if you keep listening, Perhaps you'll hear what gold sounds like. Goodbye.